And so, Olivia, congratulations on a great win. Just uh, tell us about how you're feeling on court today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Um, yeah, kind of looking back at my match, um, it kind of seems like a blur, to be honest. But I'm just really excited to get the win and really excited to get to play again on Wednesday. If we have hands up for questions, please. Yep, Mark. Olivia, can we get you to describe that feeling straight after the match when fans are asking you for selfies and you immediately become you know, a national hero in a lot of ways? I mean, what, what's that like at your age to experience that? Gee, I don't even think I can put it into words, but I think, um, you know, I've dreamt about it my whole life and to really live it is just a whole nother feeling. Olivia, congratulations on the win. You hit, uh, you won eighty-one percent of points when you hit your first serve today. Um, have you? How, how long uh, has it been since you served so well? Or you know, what what did it feel like coming off the racket today? Um, you know, my serve is one of my greatest strengths. So to have that when I'm feeling a little bit nervous or anxious out there is always um, something I really, really like. So yeah. Obviously, you get a, you're obviously doing it for the win, but you also get a pretty tidy pay um, pay result. Anything special you're going to purchase? Oh, look, I didn't even think about the payment, to be honest. Um, I've just kind of taken the win with, you know, like my family's here and my mum's put in a lot of time and sacrifice and dedication into my career. And, I mean, money can't buy that. So I'm really just happy we can share that moment together. It'll be about 160 grand, maybe more if you keep going. Can you talk about how it might set up your year as well as maybe, you know, buying yourself a little present or something like that, but how could it set up your year going forward? Wow, okay, um, my year. I, in a way, like it doesn't really change the way I go about, you know, um, my career, it just, gives me a little bit of a like a safety net which is which is really important when it comes to being an athlete um, just having that security and knowing you know you don't have to rely on you know doing well each and every week to be able to fund yourself and you know the help from Tennis Australia is just an amazing and I've been so lucky to be able to be supported by Tennis Australia especially Craig um, since I was very young, and without them, I wouldn't be here right now. So thank you. Olivia, there's obviously been a lot made of the Ash Barty connection, which uh, I'm sure you've read and seen, but one, have you heard from her? And can we get you to talk about just the sort of influence she's had on your career so far? Yeah, she uh, sent me a text after my match, which um, really meant a lot. Um, but, you know, I'm sure everyone kind of knows um, she's always been in my corner and I've I'm so lucky to have her um, whenever I need advice or or anything. I'm always able to contact her and, yeah. Just a simple text. Can you tell us what she said? Uh, I mean, some things I like to keep to myself. Fair enough, fair <laughs> enough. Um, no. Right, mate. Um, well done today. It was a great match. Um, pretty big crowd out there. How much does that sort of egg you on when you're out there or spur you on to the win? Yeah, the crowd was amazing today. Um, I feel like in the past I've kind of kept it to myself a bit and um, today I just wanted to kind of let them in and really embrace the crowd and it's a, such a once in a lifetime sort of moment. So yeah, I'm really thankful for the crowd. You know, they got me, got me over the line. Um, congratulations, Olivia. Pro progressing past the first round of a Grand Slam, what does that do for just your confidence as an athlete? I mean, it's such a confidence booster. Um, making the second round of a slam, it's just an amazing achievement. But I definitely believe that I can do more and um, I'm really looking forward to, to my next round. And Olivia, one final one. Uh, on your mum, you mentioned her before and I saw the reaction that you both had after the match. Talk to us about that relationship and just how much her guidance and her support means to you. Um, yeah, my mum means so much to me. I look up to her in every sort of way and without her, um, she's another person that without her, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here today. So I'm just eternally grateful for her 
time and sacrifice, like I said, and um, to get to share this moment with her is is really special. Olivia, last year, you know, you made a, a, um, a very difficult decision not to get vaccinated at a time when there was a lot of social, political pressure on, on people to get vaccinated. It cost you a lot in the short term in terms of your tennis opportunities. Walk us through um, just that decision and, and, and why that was so, you know, you made the decision why it was important to you at the time. Yeah, look, there's not really much to discuss. I made a de uh, decision and at the end of the day, I'm here playing at the Australian Open and, I mean, I'm really looking forward to my next match and, yeah. I just think that through, through all that stuff, because now it just doesn't matter. Like, whatever people's vaccinated status is, that's their own personal um, information, if you like. There's no sort of public interest in us knowing. How much of that is, is it a relief to have that all in the rear view mirror in terms of that, that focus on that side of things? I mean, at the end of the day, it's um, definitely a relief, but it's also, I knew what my decision entailed and I, I totally respect everyone's, um, you know, opinion and personal choice. And yeah, like I said, I'm just grateful to be here. Can we ask you about your second round opponent? Have you had a chance to look and see who it is yet? Uh, I think it's Marta. That's right. Yeah. What, what, do you, what do you know about her and, and what are your early thoughts on that match? Um, I know she's a great player and it's just another great opportunity to um, go out there and test my level and really enjoy the battle. What about having all the passionate supporters from Queensland? Mm -hmm. Liv, how good? <laughs> yeah, I mean, being a Queenslander, I don't think there's anything better. So um, I'll definitely take all the support I've been getting from them. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.